Welcome, my name is Catherine. Today I'm going to be doing a video for Alex at Baron Vinyl. It's his one year anniversary and he's made 119 videos. So congratulations Alex on this milestone. So the year I chose is 1985. So at the beginning of the year in January I was 14 years old and I was a freshman in high school. And during the summer, there were some really significant events that happened. And in September, I started my sophomore year of high school. And at the end of the year, I turned 15. So I have good memories of the albums, the music, and the things that happened in 1985. So in this video, I'm going to present some albums and tell you about the events that I remember. Number one, the Live Aid concert at Wembley Stadium in London, England. And across the Atlantic, it was also in John F. Kennedy Stadium in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And it was televised to 1.9 billion people in 150 countries. So everybody who was famous and important was there. And I have the DVD of Bohemian Rhapsody. This is when Queen made their comeback and pretty much stole the show. Other artists that were there were U2, and this made U2 more famous to Americans and better well known. The second thing that I liked was We Are the World, USA for Africa. And this song was written by Michael Jackson and Lionel Richie and produced by Quincy Jones. And they recorded the song after the Grammys. So I just remember all my favorite artists, or many of my favorite artists were in that song. And I saw the video on TV. And whenever the song played on the radio, I could, I had this game where I tried to name the singers. So that's number two. Number three is the first Barmaid concert, September 22nd, 1985 in Champaign, Illinois, and it was before a crowd of 80,000 people. This is what Willie Nelson, John Mellencamp, and Neil Young put together to help struggling private farms back then. And other musicians that played at the concert were Bob Dylan, Billy Joel, B.B. King, Loretta Lynn, Roy Orbison, and Tom Petty. And this is the album Scarecrow. The first track is Rain on the Scarecrow. This is an original song and the lyrics and the meaning of the song helped me to better understand the issue. And I like this album. This is one of John Mellencamp's best albums. It has small town minutes to memories and the whole album has great songs on it. The fourth thing is my favorite movie of the 80s came out. So Back to the Future. This was released July 3rd of 1985 and I love this movie. It has a great storyline and it's also been inducted into the Library of Congre Congress as being culturally and historically significant. So now I'm going to show you some of the albums from 85. In fact, I have more albums from 85 than any other year in my collection. So I'm going to just briefly go through these, show them, and talk about a few favorite songs on the album. So I'm a big fan of Sting. I have his first album, After the Police. I like every song on here, but I like, probably my favorite is Love is the Seventh Wave and Moon Over Bourbon Street. The Talking Heads, Little Creatures. I love the cover on here and the artwork. And you can view the original painting by Howard Finster in the Smithsonian Museum. Another big album of 85, Tears for Fears, Songs from the Big Chair, with songs like Everybody Wants to Rule the World, Shout and Head Over Heels. 
till Tuesday with lead singer Amy Mann. This is the song Voices Carry and the memorable video. ABC's album. This is their third studio album and it has the hit song Be Near Me that went to number three, I think. Another popular album of 85 is the AHA's debut with Take On Me, but I also like the song The Sun Only Shines on TV, which is the first track on the B side. Phil Collins, No Jacket Require, one of the best selling albums of 1985. It went diamond and sold 12 million copies. And my favorite song on here is Take Me Home. And I also like um, the song Don't Lose My Number. Why Phil Collins was touring for No Jacket Required, Mike Rutherford did his solo project, Mike and the Mechanics their debut album, and I like the song All I Need is a Miracle. John Fogarty's Centerfield, this was a comeback for him. The whole album is great and it plays like a CCR album. I'm a big fan of Howard Jones, this is his best-selling album, Dream Into Action. It has the singles, Things Can Only Get Better, I Like to Get to Know You Well. And I have a couple CDs, In Excess, Listen Like Thieves, has some great tracks on here like What You Need, Listen Like Thieves, Kiss the Dirt, and Shine Like It Does. This album gave them international success. And the last album I'll show on CD is Simple Minds. It has my favorite song on here, Alive and Kicking. So those are my albums of 85, and 85 is my favorite year. I want to say thank you, Alex, for this topic, and best wishes for you for another year of making videos. Thank you for watching.